This is Crystal Fenn with MedPage Today here in San Francisco at the American Academy of Ophthalmology meeting. Where one of the major topics of interest has been the translation of femtosecond lasers into cataract surgery. Dr. William Culbertson of the Bascom Palmer Eye Institute in Miami discussed the promise of this technology in a press conference here. The way the femtosecond laser works is the same way phacoemulsification emulsification works. It, it actually creates a, uh, a little bit in, explosion inside the eye called photodisruption at the point that it's focused at, and that creates a cavitation bubble. And that's essentially the way phaco emulsification works. The initial phaco emulsifiers were called, were made by the Cavitron company. And that's still the way the, the phaco emulsification needle works. It creates little, little bubbles in front of the needle that, uh, that fragment the lens. And so what the femtosecond laser does is does this on a, a microscopic uh, level. So uh, we're still using a somewhat similar uh, technology, but in a, a different way. So the advantages, the potential advantages of this technology is uh, to improve the safety of the procedure primarily, to improve the precision of the uh, whole technique, and uh, perhaps improve our outcomes in terms of visual acuity, with enhanced reproducibility of everything uh, that we do. And this may be very very important in uh, the integration of the, uh, of the surgery with a certain intraocular lens implants in the future. Of course, the disadvantages would be the increased cost of the, of the laser and uh, added time uh, to do the lasing, although we probably would save time in the actual uh, cataract surgery. So I think that it's a promising uh, improvement on, on standard uh, contemporary phaco emulsification cataract surgery, and for the future, we can look to uh, some things that uh, I think are, uh, have been tried in, in different settings. Uh, sub Bowman's relaxing incisions that don't break up to the surface like the typical limber relaxing incision does. More complex uh, and better self-sealing cataract incisions. Uh, customizing a capsular rexus so that it might integrate with an IOL such as the, cap the anterior capsule fitting into the side of the, of the lens or having a, a, a a uh, way to better and more accurately orient the toric IOLs that Dr. Sauls spoke about, and even uh, helping with some of these lens refilling surgeries where we take the lens out by lasing the center of the lens, making it very soft, taking the lens out, and then refilling it with a, uh, a uh, substitute that uh, that uh, substitutes for the natural lens and restore accommodation and the natural a function of the lens that way. So femtosecond lasers do appear to have some promise in cataract surgery. Here in San Francisco at the American Academy of Ophthalmology meeting, I'm Crystal Fend, MedPage Today.